hello and welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a crafty burrito subscription unboxing i do generally do these each month so if you like the sound of that do keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe and i will get into the video now so this month's theme is summerween which i'm i was actually quite excited for but to be completely honest like i just don't think this box was for me <laughs> if you haven't heard of the crafty burrito they are kind of a disney themed company and they make some really really cool unique things i've done unboxings for all of their boxes since the beginning actually so i will link the playlist which i should probably make in the eye for you if you'd like to go and see previous ones um but i'd say this is probably my least favorite box from them but i still think value wise it is worth the price the crafty burrito has some different tiers on patreon so if you do want to sign up for this box you do have to go to patreon make an account and then you can select the tier that you would like to buy i have the you got this tier and in my first unboxing i go through all of the tiers so do check that out if you want more details but this box costs 28 pounds 50 a month with vat added by patreon i believe it comes to a total of £34.20, so maybe average price for a subscription box, maybe on the slightly higher end with the VAT. So she does release the themes, and generally, um, M, the lady who runs the Crafty Burrito, is really, like, on it with updates. I'd say this time we got our, like, exclusive discount code, and we also got the dispatch time, so there were still updates, but there's probably less in this month, and she did apologise for that. Um, so that's all fine. In the past, there's been, like, Disney themes, villain themes, Beetlejuice, um, so there's been quite the range. The next month is, what's it called? It's, like, an alt-world theme. I got that wrong last time in the video that I said, so... Um, I will just double check because she did put it on her Instagram what the themes are going to be. July is Alt Disney World and then August is the Haunted Mansion. You all know I'm waiting for the Haunted Mansion box. Um, and then the theme after that is the Sanderson Sisters. Um, I do like Hocus Pocus but I'm not like obsessed with it so... I'm not sure if I'll keep subscribed for that one, but I am waiting for the Haunted Mansion box. So I will get on with the unboxing now because I've been talking for like three minutes. But this actually came in a different box than normal. Usually it's the white box, but this was like a more deeper one. I think why I didn't enjoy this box as much as the others, I think the print is very repetitive. Um, but I will go through the items and the other thing i wanted to mention was i think i had different expectations she does these really cool like watermelon pumpkin designs um i'll put a photo on the screen for you here and i was expecting that on something so it could be my expectations you'll have to let me know what you do think of this box but right on top there was this leaflet that says i think you're fantastic it does have her details there um usually there is like a personalized note but there wasn't in this one it was kind of a standard leaflet and then inside there was the tissue paper that she uses and then oh i will say i have looked at this box i mean that's probably obvious but <laughs> i have looked through this one um and then when you take it off it kind of looks like this so i will go through the first item that i looked at so when i picked this up this was actually in here with the lid on so looking at this i believe the outside kind of foam cover is one of those drinks holders so if you have like a can of something or even a bottle the idea is you can put this around your bottle and then you don't get like a cold hand i, th I think that's <laughs> I think that's the idea um and it does say summerween craft brew so i really like the design of that like on this item because you put a drink in it so i like how it kind of suits that and it is black and white and it's got this pumpkin on it so that's the design of this one and then inside there was this so when you kind of take the foam off um there is this kind of tin looking thing so originally when this was in here i was thinking oh that's probably like one of those are they trendy i don't know like a tin you can actually put a drink in i thought oh that's a really clever idea but i'm not actually too sure what this is because when you take the lid off it's actually made of cardboard inside so you've got kind of the tin but then this inside is cardboard and so is the outside it's not like a 
thing that was put in there so this does have a lid and then again it's got that same design that says summerween craft brew so i think it would have made more sense to have this as a cup because it says craft brew on it i'm not really sure what you would use this for maybe storage maybe to put something in i wouldn't use it for like food because it is cardboard maybe like a pen pot i'm just not too sure like what this is and there's nothing in the box to tell us what it is maybe i'm being stupid but the fact that it does have a lid makes me think it's a storage thing so yeah there was this wrapped up inside that tin thing was this so this is actually a tea towel so this is the kind of larger fabric item and this has exactly the same print on it so it is a kind of canvasy feeling tea towel and then this is the design so it's literally the same so it says summerween with this pumpkin and then it says craft brew this would be perfect if you are in need of a tea towel um, i mean it's quite a cool design and it's probably perfect if you're like out in the garden maybe with a barbecue you could just get the summerween kind of tea towel out but for me i have way too many tea towels <laughs> from tk maxx i literally stocked up one year i've probably got about 10 tea towels i never use tea towels um but i've got them <laughs> i think this item is a nice item and i i like the quality of it as i've said in all of my other previous unboxings what i like about this subscription is everything's custom made nothing's like bought cheaply from you know like cheap wholesale websites like everything has thought and is custom made by M herself and the quality is always really really nice um, and I think this is like a like an ink transfer on this one so yeah there is this I do think it's a nice item it's just not something I would use and then there are a few more items left in the box now so at the very bottom there is this print and it says summerween craft brew available here so again, it's the same design. I kind of like this as available here. You could probably frame this, maybe turn it into like a sign for like a party, maybe. I'm not sure. <laughs> but there is this print and this is A5. This isn't on the like usual textured card that she does. Usually her prints are like a higher quality, I would say, rather than this. But maybe it didn't like suit the design of it. Um, but there is this. There was also this notebook that says summerween craft brew and then it's got her details on the back of here um i do think this is cute but unfortunately it does have these like dots in it um and that's like across kind of all of the pages i would have preferred if it had lined paper maybe that's just me being too picky but i don't know what i use the dots for um it makes me think of maths <laughs> i mean i guess you can you know just write over it normally but i do prefer lined notebooks um so there was this anyway as i said the quality of this is like nice and everything and then the last few items is there is this pumpkin sticker like a vinyl gloss sticker the pumpkin and then this one that says summerween forever and then the last item in here is i think a bottle opener i'm not too sure it kind of looks like a one of those like button badges with the pumpkin but then on here it's got this i'm assuming that's some kind of can or bottle opener correct me if i'm wrong because I, I could be so just to recap there was the print the stickers and the i'm gonna say bottle opener the notebook the tea towel the mysterious tin which i don't know its purpose <laughs> and also the drinks holder so that was everything in the box i do feel like the biggest item is this maybe you'd pay 15 pounds for a you know like a custom made tea towel eight for this six maybe five her art prints are usually about six pounds or eight pounds with the textured paper so i do feel like this adds up to the value of it i just don't think this box is for me and i think i was expecting like the watermelon pumpkin like kind of spooky but bright colors i know that seems weird but i really liked that design and i was thinking maybe like that repetitive on a notebook would be really cute so i would think my expectations were too strong 
I'm not too sure. You will have to let me know what you do think of this box. I thought I'd do an unboxing anyway because I have been unboxing them monthly but I will probably be selling the majority of this to be honest on my Depop shop. So if you love the look of this and you did miss out on this box then I will leave my Depop shop link in the description for you. But just to recap I do think the quality is there I like how everything is designed and it's custom made I just think maybe a different print on like a few items would have been I don't know it would have like switched it up because the print is literally like on everything <laughs> I think it's a cool idea it's just not what I was expecting and I just prefer other boxes so yeah that's kind of my opinion I think I've said everything I mean with subscription boxes not everyone's gonna like every single box that's just how it is it's a mystery so some people will love this box so yeah that's my unboxing of the summer ween box do let me know what you thought of this do you think it's worth the value do you agree with me on kind of the print and also if you know what this is do let me know and also this i'm assuming this is a storage thing and this is a bottle opener i think <laughs> do let me know do press the notification bell if you want to be notified when i upload and as i said at the very beginning please do subscribe if you like unboxings i did pre-order the occult box like the vampire theme which i'm so excited for i'm really hoping that box is going to be good because i love like anything vampire themed apart from that gingerbread coffin box <laughs> so you will see an unboxing of that. Do subscribe if you would like to see that so you don't miss out. Um, I also do gothic fashion hauls like Killstar, Disturbia, High Street and also small business reviews. So do subscribe for all of that and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye!